on that building. You can probably guess what I did all the way through. That was the Arctic Brotherhood Hall, a fraternity that was active during the gold rush. Something that I love about Skagway is genuinely most of these shops are locally owned and operated, so it feels good to shop small here in Skagway. Coming up on your right-hand side, you're going to see a pink-colored building. This is our hardware store. Their motto is, if we don't have it, you don't need it. And I've heard that there are apparently a lot of things that I don't need. Coming up on your right-hand side, you're going to see a shop that says Percy's Curios. There's a menu in the pool right out front. This is the original location of that watch shop I mentioned. So if you look to your right up in the rock space again, you'll see that watch. And then right after you see the watch, you'll see the original now it is a curio shop with various souvenirs and jewelry on the desk. But again, that is where Herman from the his family friends is lost in the shop for many years. If you look to your left hand side, you'll see that we're entering Skagway's financial district. And we are now exiting Skagway's financial district. <laughs> You may have noticed that a lot of the buildings here in Skagway are very brightly colored. The colors don't mean anything other than that they are different. During the Klondike Gold Rush, when a lot of the prospectors and miners were the stamp leaders who made their way to Skagway, a lot of them were actually illiterate, meaning they couldn't read. So, in an effort to aid in direction giving, they would paint the buildings very bright and distinct colors. So instead of saying, oh, go to fill in the blank to establish it. To someone who could read, that wouldn't be very helpful. So they, instead, they would say, oh, go to the blue store with the yellow print. For that same reason, all of the churches here in Skagway are one that is color. Coming up on your left-hand side, you're going to see the red church and the green church. There are six different denominations of operating churches in the area of Skagway, and all of them are one pink color, like I said. On your left, here's the red church, and then again, right after that, the green church, and eventually on your right hand side, you'll see the brown church. Right after the brown church on your right hand side, if you look to your left, you're going to see the Skyway Recreation Center and Skate Park. The money for those, both of those to be built was actually donated to the city of Skagway by the cruise lines and the fees for all that they've done. On your right hand side, you're going to see a small blue sign with a white H on it and an arrow pointing to the lower right. In the lower 48, that is pointing towards a hospital, but here in Skagway, it is pointing towards a clinic. There is no hospital here in Skagway, and there's actually not a single doctor or a married one. But we do have several nurse practitioners that we love. If you are in need of some serious medical attention, you'll actually be helicoptered to you know, or twice. Coming up on your right hand side, you're going to see our fire station. This houses our fire department, police department, DMV, and water treatment plant kind of your all-in-one shampoo going on over there. White Horse is here in Big City to us. It's about a two and a half hour drive. If you just stayed on this road and you kept driving for two and a half hours, you'd end up in the Yukon Territory in White Horse. White Horse is the capital of the Yukon Territory. It has about 30,000 residents. And that's where you'll find all of your big city things like a Walmart. 